when I say certain things. Because again, I keep pointing to the fact that I am all for fairness. I see. I see because a day will come, like I often told some people from my uh, from my tribe that are so invested in tri tribalism, and it's not limited to one people. A day will come if the same thing happens to you. Some of the things that are saying people will complain about. If it happens to you, do not complain. How will you explain to people to do away with your emotions and look at the bigger picture? Because we are all at fault one way or the other. How would so, you? All right, thank so you. Let, let me just take it quickly, you know, so that others can come in. Yeah, you know, my, my answer is kind of straightforward. I don't believe it is religion. I believe it is more like ethnicity. We are different. Maybe it's not only that. In part of the book, again, I discussed, you know, a pre-1959 meeting, the then leaders, Lokazi Kiwe uh, and um, Saduan of Sokoto, plus Chief Awolowo. But this dialogue was essentially between Samadu Bello, the Saduan of Sokoto, and uh, Dr. Azikiwe. Saduana, in my opinion, was ahead of his time. Zeke, in my opinion, again, I, I'm, I know I am Igbo, I'm not supposed to say anything critical, I'm not criticizing Zeke, but I believe that in that instance with Samadu Bello, Samadu Bello was ahead of his time. He told Zeke, look, listen, I am Hausa Fulani, I'm Muslim, you are Christian, whatever. Let us come to the table with our differences so we can understand our differences. Once we understand our differences, we can then see what we can do together. The Zip was of the opinion, oh, let's, we are all together, let's go to Nigeria, let's have a united Nigeria. Actually, one of the characters in my book suggested that if Zeke had the foresight that Samuel Dubelo had then, the entire Aburi Accord, which I, we haven't had time to mention here, that was the last straw that broke the camel's back after the leaders went to Ghana and then um, go on on the, advice of, on the advice of the British, reneged on you know, implementing the Aburi Accord. One of the characters in the book said, look, what did Ojuku achieve in Aburi? Confederation. Suppose that Zeke had the foresight that Saduana had without trying to force a union. Maybe in 1960, Nigeria could have entered independence as a confederation of regions. So in, 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 in the summary to, my, to your question from my perspective, so we have time to move on, is that I will blame ethnicity more than I will blame religion. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. Uh, so I think that <clears throat> um, it's fascinating to me that we seem, uh, as a people, we seem bent on proving racists right, uh, right, that perhaps we are not the same human beings that others, uh, um, that others are. I, I'll give you an example. Uh, um, when... Um, when um what's his name um was murdered by the american police what's his um judge uh, uh, floyd George mm -hmm. floyd uh, yeah when george was, when he was murdered the american writers black american writers did not stop did not stop until they got some sort of closure that is you can say all you want about african americans if you touch one of theirs whether or not Nobel Laureate, they will not stop until. We had a hundred uh, African writers who, who weighed in on the issue. To this day, there are, there are dozens of Nigerian youths who are behind bars from, uh, from what happened, from what? NSARS who are behind bars, three years they are behind bars. There, there, are, there are writers and critics who disappeared in a democracy. There, are, uh, there, there has been at least three genocides since 1999. 
writers will not come and write, oh my God, this is what happened to. Oh, if, it, if it's gonna give them clout, yeah, they will show up. We have to accept responsibility for the fact that our, by our inaction, our behavior, we are compromising our humanity, is my point. And so you can play a part like I do. Whenever one Nigerian is hurt, that Nigerian is a human being. Make all the noise that you can. Hold somebody accountable. Where is Daddy Yata? I will say it, nothing will happen, nothing. Nobody, they will just walk up us, nothing. So you can't complain when you are, you can't complain about all of this when you are treating yourself poorly. The, your rule, your leaders, your intellectuals are, are, are literally getting away with murder. The people that are now talking about Africa rising in South Africa, in the cafes of Europe and North America, are the same people that screwed you. And they're the same people mm -hmm. that uh, racist whites listen to because they don't believe in our humanity. We have to take charge of, of it's all I can say. Uh, uh, the new Christianity, I have nothing but contempt for. Mm -hmm. I think that it's, I, I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a way of, uh, uh, of dehumanizing our people for the most mm -hmm. part. It's a way for mm -hmm. keeping them, uh, keeping them uh, um, not to address their own issues.